quite a mess. Time to work on the pool. Nothing like waiting until June. I saw a little guy down here. I don't know if he's still here. There he is. Let's see if it'll focus on it. Yeah, little frog hiding out. Anyways, all the leaves have stopped falling. I drained the water out. Those leaves are pretty well dry. I can sweep them up, put them in a garbage can, and dump them around back or something. I'm just going to cut the bottom of this out today and pull it out and then leave the liner in just to protect the wood back there and tuck in all those space that was falling. There's a big rip in it that was from the, that's what pretty much ruined it about a year ago. I fixed holes, but that's a little bit big. Anyways, Monday morning project, June 1st. So that's about it, 20 minutes. It's going to be hot down here today. I'm going to let that sit there and dry all the leaves out. Got all the water running. Actually, I had a spot where it was dug out the sand before. There's a toad down in there. Had a leak a long time ago. So it is why this is, it looks like concrete down there, but it's uh, a sand mix. You put more sand in it so it's not so hard that it wears out the line or if it shifts. So my next project is try to get enough dirt from out of the house to make the pool even with that bottom step. This is five foot deep. That'll make the pool like 40 some inches deep and we can set up some tethers and I'm also going to move these stairs over to here if I can. Well, it's probably too dark. I'm going to try to saw through that concrete slab right there and move the stairs. I'll probably have this done by October. But I'm going to try to pump enough sand out of the bottom of the house. Kill two birds with one stone that uh, I can just add 18 inches or 15 inches of this and then pour another layer and then have the stairs in the right spot, order a new liner, and then probably wait all the way till next summer because you can't put a liner in unless it's warm enough to stretch it. And you got four people to show up and help you. But anyway, something to do. Okay, no more bottom of the liner, no more leaves, more or less. There's still a bunch of sweep up. Weather changes all the time in Florida. It looked like it was going to rain. I wanted to get the liner out and all that stuff. Got one little pile of muck I spread out about an inch thick. And now I'm really going to the farm just for two hours set up the sprinklers. And do a few odds and ends on the trailer and then come back and it should be dry enough unless it turns into a downpour. I'm already noticing around the footer this actually has treated plywood to form the walls of this thing uh, and I sprayed around some spots and was getting sand out and I'm wondering after I clean this out if the best thing to do just to seal it up would be to pump like two inches of concrete in here and smooth it up real fast before I started burying it because uh, I'll be pumping uh, I got a second pump pumps 345 345 gallons a minute by the time I run that 400 foot from the lake and raise it 15 18 feet in elevation turn it into a fire hose I probably still be getting 200 150 gallons a minute so I should be able to literally use the uh, top secret bunker remove the spoils device and add to it with a second line supplying a whole lot of water and then just uh, run all the sand in there. I got a five foot layer of pure sand. I don't want to fill this in with clay where it turns in all mucky and uh, worst comes to worst the clay will just settle to the top and it's probably be quarter inch thick and I could let it dry out real good take it off with a shovel. And then you, you really just basically mix a sand mix, but you use about three times or two times the amount of sand, no gravel, and it's just about inch and a half, two inches thick. And I just happen to have a mortar mixer. I can do this all myself. 
I'd be willing to bet if I had five people volunteer to be here to help me put the liner in, even if I got this done while it was still hot enough for the vinyl to be stretchy, that uh, I'd be there by myself. But just so happens, Backyard Outlet's got, a, of all things, a uh, man cave contest going on, and I went up there and videotaped the uh, the pool table and everything. They're giving away and gave him a copy of my man cave, and the guy insisted that if I won, where you guess the number of pool balls in the box, that he could actually set this thing up in the man cave. And it's a full-size pool table. I forget who makes it. But I owe him a video. I, uh, he's a real nice guy named Fred. But anyways, pool liner's out. I fixed these couple leaks up. It can rain six inches. I won't have to worry about it. I can throw my... I have a sump pump, but the vinyl liner is coming up, stopping it. Uh... I can keep this thing empty. I can start pumping sand in. I'll leave the liner in place and then when I'm ready to pour the cement I can just real quickly pull the liner out. Uh, oh, and I started talking about Fred. I'm thinking it might be worth it just to pay him the labor to come and install it. I probably have to leave those stairs there. That's actually a lot of work. I got a saw that cut through the concrete, but... Man. Anyways. At least I have something to do. So that's it. Most of the leaves are out, liners out. A couple spots to patch. This is five foot deep. I've been pondering how long it would take me to dig another four or five feet out of here and just uh, build a block wall inside of this and cover the whole thing with concrete probably get pre-stressed strat slabs to span the thing where I could pull a car on top of it. The best thing about having a pool, if you want to have a pool, is find a house with someone with a pool right next to it and become their best friend. They're nothing but maintenance. Oops, I didn't mean to say that. They're great fun to have. Anyways, I think that's it for today.